Welcome to today's 3D print. I have a special print for you today. This print that I marked out how long it took, well I didn't. It was, it was over two days, it was over 50 hours. This was printed, I think it was, I want to say 68 to 71 hours. It was one of my longest prints so far on the TiVo Tornado. The TiVo Tornado, while not the best printer in the world for engineering prints like my nose cones, it is absolutely spectacular for artistic prints, anything that doesn't have um, an engineered surface, a flat or a perfect cone, stuff like that. Anything that's organic, incredible. You guys remember Faceless, he was printed on my TiVo Tornado. Well, I got the next big one going for the TiVo Tornado. Um, it's printing something else now, of course. This is amazing. You know the twinkling filament I got from Zyro? Well, they had a clear one, so I wanted to do something with clear, but I didn't want to be see-through, because you'd lose the detail. So I thought, okay, what happens if I put a bunch of infill in it, and I use, uh, I believe, four perimeters? That'll really cloud it up, so it won't be transparent. It'll be less transparent and more translucent and smoky, and <laughs> the end result is staggering. Um, if you've seen my Twitter feed or Instagram feed, you've already seen a picture of this. It's going to blow your mind. This is from Kajai. It's the Tower Remix. You can find this on Cults 3D. I will provide a link down below. Don't forget, in the description, you can find links to my printer profiles, the filament, the model where I got the file, so you can print this for yourself. Um, I had problems with two small areas that I knew I would, but I also knew the printer would adapt and compensate. It wouldn't be a problem, and it wasn't. This is cool. <laughs> Look at this thing. It looks like ice. It's amazing. I mean, it really looks like ice. The details in this thing are just amazing. The stone face looks like somebody carved it right out of ice. This is one of my favorite prints. I love this. Look at that. It is so organic and so fluid. I don't know if you noticed, but you have a landing down here and it's a staircase that goes all the way up. Another landing, staircase, all the way up. Then the spiral stairs comes around the whole thing up to the tower. And this is strong too. The four perimeters really makes it very strong. I believe I used 20% grid infill, maybe 25%. I have another idea for this. I want to print this bigger. Um, even if not bigger, it doesn't even really need to be bigger, but I want to put a hole through the center all the way up to the top, poke it inside this tower. So I want to find some way of punching a hole through this without decimating it so I can't use Tinkercad. Probably have to use Mesh, mesh, mesh Mixer or something like that. And punch a hole, a cylinder, a cylindrical hole straight through the center of this thing and then I want to put lights in it. A very soft glow and just make this thing glow like some mystical enchanted world. This thing would look amazing lit up as a night lamp. And maybe have a small RGB LED in here to make this glow different colors and have this just glow a nice cold bluish white. That would be amazing. I wonder what this would look like illuminated. Let's find out together. Hmm, yeah, see? It looks amazing at the bottom, but it doesn't project enough. So this really needs to have a cylinder going up the center to project the light through it. This is cool. This is Zyro's Twinkling Clear. About 20 bucks a kilogram. And this was printed on a $329 Tio Tornado. These printers never cease to amaze me. I think I've gotten past the stage that these printers are amazing, these printers are amazing. I think they're all amazing now. <laughs> I think the technology has matured to the point where any decently built, decently designed printer is going to give phenomenal results. They still make mistakes. The TiVo required the TL smoothers to get rid of the salmon skin, but I can forgive that for that price, as long as they don't make that same mistake twice. You hear me, TiVo? This is cool. This guy makes a whole bunch of other models. You can find them on Pinshape, Thingiverse, Cult 3D. He makes a whole bunch of different 
spiraling organic towers like this, and they are phenomenal. I'm gonna smash that phone if it goes off again. <laughs> I don't normally get messages. And of course, I'm recording, that's when the messages come in. What else is new? But there you go. That is amazing. Thank you, Kajai, for making this. This is a beautiful model. You deserve credit for that.